Hello everyone, this is Gaurav Thalpati, your friendly data architect. And today we are going to see how to create uh, Apache Iceberg tables using uh, various AWS services. We are mainly going to look at a uh, couple of services like AWS Glue. Um, using that, we are going to create the Apache Iceberg uh, files and the tables. And then later we'll use uh, Athena for uh, querying the data from this table as well as we'll try to delete a uh, few things from the table. Uh, this uh, session is going to be completely raw and unedited uh, like I'm, I'm i'm not uh, really um worked on uh, some of these and kept these things uh, ready uh, i've tried it earlier i've done some pocs and all but then uh, what i thought is in this session i'll uh, do a completely raw and unedited session uh, so that those who are working on it for the first time would be able to follow as well as to learn from the mistakes uh, that I might do during, you know, working on this. Um, so let's start. Maybe if required, I'll try to break it into different, different smaller videos. Uh, but in the first session, let's try to just create a glue ETL job to create an iceberg table. And maybe in one of the subsequent uh, sessions, we'll try to see the Athena part. So uh, I'm, I'm here in the console, AWS console. I'll go to AWS uh, glue. Uh, and then we will be using the uh, visual editor right, to create the glue ETL jobs. We can also write the scripts, but uh, since uh, I come from the ETL background, I'm, I'm more comfortable uh, using visual ETL right here. Maybe I'll try to use that and see uh, what are the various options of creating uh, Apache Iceberg tables. Now, um, those who are not aware of what uh, Apache Iceberg is, it's, uh, it's an open table format. There are other formats like Delta Lake and Apache hoodie, which is also quite popular uh, for implementing lake house architectures. Uh, if you have not heard about these uh, technologies before or what lake house architecture is, you can go and, you know, uh, check out my Substack newsletter or even read on Medium. Uh, I'll, I'll provide the links in the comments uh, uh, after this session. So I've already created few things, but uh, let's not use that as I said, right? Let's try to uh, create a new new job. Okay, create job. And uh, let's see what options we have. Okay, so uh, fine. I'm into the AWS console now. Let me just minimize this a bit. Uh, we'll start with a source. Okay, we'll use a parquet file and try to convert it into Apache Iceberg. So as a source, I'll take S3. And then um, uh, we'll try to, okay, let's not add any transformation. Uh, let's try to keep it simple. And in target, I'll again use S3. So my source is S3, my target is S3, okay? Source and target is S3. Um, fine. And the location, I have a file, okay, a parquet file. Let me try to use that. I created it earlier for some of the previous demos let me see if i have that yeah here's a parquet file i'll give path of this so my input file is parquet okay um that's it i don't have to make any other changes here and then in the target let's choose node parent i'll make it as this s3 okay so that it knows see uh the moment we choose this what it did it changed uh, it it uh, it added this arrow, right? That means the, the flow of the data is from source to target. Now let's do some other settings as well. Um, format, this is where we are going to make it uh, Apache Iceberg. So from Parquet, we are going to convert it into Iceberg. See, there are various formats, JSON, CSV, and then the three open table formats, right? That we spoke about, Hoodie, Delta Lake, Iceberg. Uh, let's focus on Iceberg only in this session. So uh, let me use Iceberg. Format, I'll change it to Facebook. Okay. Compression type, I'll leave it as is. And then an interesting thing is here. Okay. Uh, let me give a target location. Uh, here I have target location as uh, output. And um, maybe I've already used it. What I'll do is I'll create one more output here. Let me Let me just cancel this and let me create another folder there in my bucket let's open s3 console it's taking some time uh, the net is a bit slow here uh takes a bit of time to load the things but what i'll do 
And so yeah, here I'll create another folder. Let's call it out opt underscore iceberg just for this this purpose. Create folder fine, and then I will use this uh as my target location. Let's see if it reflects here. Yeah, pretty iceberg is what I'm going to use. And then what, what I was trying to say is, yeah, there's an interesting thing here. See, it can directly create a table in data catalog. So if you choose iceberg, we can directly create a table in um, data catalog, glue data catalog. We don't have to see normally how do we create tables? Either we do it manually or we use the glue crawlers, right? To pass the data here. We don't have to do that. We have that uh, inbuilt feature. Uh, if you are trying to create an iceberg table using glue, you can directly choose the glue data catalog. And then I'll, I'll uh, use some, you know, um, database. Maybe I already have a database that's not created, but any, any database we can use. Okay. This is something I had created for uh, one of my community day sessions uh, in, in Pune. Uh, I'll use the same and the table name will change. We'll make it as raw iceberg table created in october uh, 23 okay and that's it let's not give any any partition jobs and all okay that's it let's save it save it yeah uh, i have to give the job details okay let me give this name as uh parfait to iceberg job. Okay. I am role I'll use um, which I had created earlier. Okay. So uh, I'm going to use Spark with Glue 4.0. I think Glue 3.0 and 4.0 both supports this open table formats. Okay. If you're using Glue 1 or 2, then you won't get this support for iceberg and the other ones. So uh, you have to select either 3 or 4. Um, I'll keep this as uh, maybe 2x. The file is a bit bigger, but uh, number of nodes I'll uh, keep it less. Okay. Uh, rest all is fine. Uh, timeout, I'll, I'll keep it 300 sec. Okay. Rest all is fine. Let's not get into more details. Uh, okay. What else? Anything? Uh, have we missed anything? Okay. Script name. Okay. Script name, I'll give it as okay i have some folders here for scripts and all so i'll use this i've already created this structure so just copy the uh, url for that copy s3 uri okay from here i will give it as this slash um and same thing we'll give parquet to whatever we had written here Okay, to keep it consistent. Dot pi we should keep because it's a Python script. Fine, and then again, yeah. Okay, this is the path. Sorry, path we have to give it here. Okay, this is the path. We'll keep it here. Slash, yeah, and this all uh, I'll not keep logs and all. Fine, UI logs. Okay, logs again. I have a Part for that, I'll use that. Okay, copy S3 URI and I'll use the same path. Okay, that's it. Use Glue Catalog as the Hive Meta Store. Yes, that we'll have to tick. Okay, so what happens if we, we are using it uh, as a Glue Catalog, right? So any metadata that gets created in Hive Meta Store, instead of that, it gets created in the Glue Data Catalog. Now, we would be able to query that. Fine, that's it. I think we should save it. Anything on visual? Uh, I can see one notification. Okay, one one alert. So have we missed something? Let's see. Okay, see this data format. Okay, this is Parquet. We didn't save that. Let me save this, and I'll run. And I'm going to pause the video here because it takes around two to three minutes. So let me run this, and then I'll pause the video. Okay, so job details runs and we will see this here. Okay, see it is running. Okay, I'll pause the video here and then we'll come back after two to three minutes and see. 
okay i'm back now and you can see that the job has completed okay it took two minutes 53 seconds so how do we confirm if uh, the uh, files are created uh easiest way let's go back to our s3 console we had created in opd iceberg okay so we can see the yeah database this is the database name uh this is the table name that we gave and then in iceberg right it creates two folders for data and metadata so metadata consists of uh, three three files uh, one is the uh, the actual metadata file okay this metadata.json and then it has couple of manifest files right one is the manifest list and other is the manifest file okay so um this is how the uh, uh, the structure of iceberg is now this is a bit of deeper topic right if you want to do a deep dive there are you know um good videos on youtube that you can go through or you can also uh you know read the book uh, the definitive uh, iceberg uh which is i think it is available on the oriety platform you can have a look at that um coming back to our data file and data we should be able to see uh the data files now this is all parquet itself right so it it we have chosen the format so when we say it is iceberg iceberg is uh a parquet file now you can use avro also and the other formats also but it is the data files are actually in parquet itself and then you have the additional metadata here right so if you try to compare let me show you okay uh let me go to the input uh, where we had the parquet file see this is input this is the parquet file here you will see only the parquet file okay there's no metadata here right but if you go to the um iceberg that we created there is this additional metadata link okay that is what differentiates a normal parquet with a iceberg right now uh there was another uh property that we had checked right in uh the visual uh script here okay you remember this yeah create a table so let's go and see if it has created the table as well let me go and open athena and see if the table is there so uh, we'll go to that database and try to see if the table is present okay so choose a database is this, this and uh, 23 right see this raw iceberg 23 this is the table we created right and there are multiple columns there we have not changed anything but let's go and quickly see if we can preview the data uh okay so we are not able to do select and that is because of we don't have the permission okay the user that i'm using here is it does not have that permission okay so we'll have to create a minute yeah we'll have to create the permission so um how do you give the permissions we go to lake formation and i'll have to select this database this table and provide the permissions there to select it so let me um go to this is the database and there are various tables there let's see view tables and our table was of 23 so um yeah we'll select this and grant grant permissions to the role now i'm i'm using gt underscore strain is the user that i am using for running athena so i'll select that and uh, the database table we have selected and maybe for time being i'll just give it give us select uh, permissions okay and hopefully i should be able to now query the data okay it's running yeah see i'm now able to query the data fine so um that's it what i wanted to show in this particular video um two important things to note see we used a parquet file as an input and converted it into apache iceberg okay using glue that's number one so we were able to see the files here in our s3 bucket second there is also a feature or a property within glue by which we can create the iceberg table in the glue data catalog so we created that and we selected it we had uh, we faced an issue related to permission because this is all under lake formation uh permission control okay so i use that now it all depends whether you have uh, you know enabled the lake formation on that uh, uh, data directory that you are using or the s3 bucket that you are using if at all you face this issue just you have to go and give the permission here so because see the permission control and all all are very very important 
uh, maybe from POC perspective, uh, you can skip that. But when you're implementing a actual project, these all things are very, very important. So yeah, you can use lake formation to give the permission and you can select that. Maybe in the next video, we'll see uh, how do you update and delete the data from iceberg using Athena because that is the most important aspects of lake house, right? It helps you to delete the data or update data It uh, because S3 is an immutable storage, right? But then uh, all this uh, transactional uh, features, right? All the acid operations, update and delete, all these things brings, uh, lake house brings in these uh, to your data lakes and uh, iceberg is one of the technologies that helps you to do that. So we'll have a look at it in our next session. Um, thank you for watching this and uh, do let me know if you need any more uh, you know, help or suggestions or have any queries related to this. Thank you.